has no man. Father God, you have done what no man has done. Oh Lord, you will do. You will do what no man. Yes, Lord, you have done. Oh, you will do what no man. I proclaim that I have no, I have no other God. Yes, I have no other God. Father, Lord, I have no other God. No, I have no other God. But you, I have no other God but you. You have done what no man has done, and you will do what no man can do. I have no. Amen.
presence Who am I to worship you It's your blood that makes a difference in me And made a way to enter into your throne I could not come near your presence Oh Lord, I could never sing your song Yeah. 
Madalaiguka <laughs> Tukuwechiti wane tunjio lualero Tukulu mizeri nyalio aigwe chitu kile chama wanga mkama Kabaka waba kabaka abantu wanda mkama batunulia ugeni baroko ka Ama wanga katunulia ugeni garoko ka Yegwe katonda wa fe, sote di katonda mulala Yegwe maanyiga fe, sote di maanyi malala mkama Kitanga inza bendo we sike wa fegoli mugwe kabaka waba kabaka Osinzi wenga, ugumi zwengo, tendeze wenga mkama Tuwa nilizo moyo wa mtu kube tunjio lualero Ajie ayogene na fe mkama Ajia tu somese echi gambo cho Ajia tu igirize echi gambo cho Ajia tu wikuli robu ziba Ovo kutegera uko ayi katonda wange Muli nyari ya mkama wa fe yesu kristo mwana katonda mlamu Ela mkama tu sabira mtu wala waka 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 Nga ina wantu wa itanga karubidi dua Nga ina wantu wa itanga zitowele dua Nga ina wantu Tuwa itanga ulira koye, nga ulira atide Mukama nkwegeri dogolo mkono gogo amani Ule toku berwa Oyambo muntu ya kulaba alaba mukama Oyambo muntu ya alaba katonda wange Ule toku sumundu ule toku loko zi Ule genti kwe katonda wa amani Muli nyeri ya mukama wafe yesu Omana wa katonda mlamu Amen, amen, amen Mukama wafe yesu ya bazwe nyo Praise to be be to our God. We want to glorify the Lord this afternoon. He has given us an opportunity to bring unto you the word of the Lord. Wherever you're watching us from, we believe the Lord is going to bless you. In the name of our Lord Jesus. This afternoon. We are not together with our bishop. He is in other ministry engagements. But he has sent us to bring the word of God to you. In the name of our Lord Jesus. My name is Pastor Chisache John. And Mark Mugumia Prosper. We are going to share with you the word of God in the, the program today, of the voice of the gospel. I was informed by the bishop that from Sunday, he has been teaching about the journey of salvation, the journey of salvation. A journey of salvation, it is a journey. It is a great journey that nobody or any other person has ever encountered. 
Because if every person tells you the audio, the story of their journey, they can tell you that I have ever been in a flight for 28 hours. I've been, in, I've been on a journey where I chained eight flights. I traversed in two different nations. When you listen to them, indeed they will have traveled. But what you're speaking about is not such journey. Because the journey of salvation is a journey of life. That when you start on it, you start on this journey on what we call being born again. After being born again, you start on this journey. But it's not a journey you're supposed to move that it is a journey that is going to a place of no return. It is not a journey of looking back. It is a journey of focusing on our head where you're going. And on this journey, the Lord does not allow us to focus on behind. When we start to walk this journey. And it is a journey that is so enjoyable. Like I told you, it is for your entire life. You started when you have just given your life to Christ. And you accomplish it after you have left this life. Our Father, or oh, our ancestor in faith, Paul the Apostle, he speaks in 2nd Timothy chapter number 4 verse number 7. When he was telling Timothy that I fought a good fight, and what shows that I fought a good fight I have finished the rest that journey that Paul was speaking about is the journey of salvation but he was trying to explain it to team of that I fought a good fight it means this journey of salvation to walk and move it you have to fight but the kind of fight that you're involved in, the Bible calls it a good fight. People fight many different wars. But the way Paul explains this war, he speaks about it as a good fight. And if any person is going to fight this good battle, they keep their faith. He says, I've fought a good fight, I've finished the race, and I've kept the faith. So long as you maintain your faith in this fight of this journey, you will really finish your race. And the bishop told me that he tried to reference from the story of the children of Israel from Egypt. It is very true, Brother Mark. When the Lord is trying to show us the journey of salvation, they started their journey. And he tells Moses that you're going to slaughter the lamb of uh, the lamb. And then you smear blood on your doorpost. The end of death is going to pass, but you are going to be saved. And he told them, as you eat this meat, you don't have to eat it when you're sitting. You have to eat it when you're standing. When everybody is holding their hands, because after eating this meat, you're not supposed to sit at it. You are embarking on the journey. And that is how it was. The journey started when the lamb had been 
Kuranga Yesu amaze okomererwa. As a forecast to show us that our journey of salvation starts when Jesus, the Lamb of God, has been crucified. Mto Musai gulio wendiga eyali we misiri guti kiro Musai guamu kama wa Yesu Kristo. That the blood of the Lamb that was in Egypt represents or is in the place of the blood of the Lamb of God. Chovola banga yokano mbatiza wa yaringa mwenge denga geno mbatiza wa yaringa mwenge denga geno mbatiza wa that is why John the Baptist, when he saw him when he was coming to be baptized, he said, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. When he was introducing him, he introduced him as the Lamb of God. Referring to the other Lamb that was slaughtered in Egypt. So the journey of salvation and the journey of the children of Israel sojourning from Egypt to the promised land. Actually, So this journey teaches us as the born again that the journey we are in it's like that one. The only difference is one. That the Abana uh, said when they were going from Egypt to a promised land, they were going to Canaan. That is where their destiny was. But for us, our Lord Jesus Christ tells us that where we are going, we are not going in the land or in a city that is of here. As we embark on this journey, we are not going to a city of this place. When I was here last with the bishop, I told you that whatever I could see in the Old Testament was a shadow for what the truth or the real thing would come. So we are not people of this place. Our Lord Jesus Christ says, you know, Though you live in the world, but this is not your home. You have a place where you go. And I will come and I will take you. If it is not so, I would have told you. But I will come and take you. Where I am, um, that's where you will be. It means that as we come on this journey, we know that's the end point. When we are taken to where we live, everybody who is in this journey, that's where we will be. Praise the Lord our God. Let's read in the book of First Corinthians. First Corinthians, Esula Yakumi, Chapter Ten. First Corinthians, Chapter Number 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 Ten. First Corinthians, Chapter Ten. First Corinthians, Chapter Number 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 can I read the English Bible? So, um, okay, let, let me read the English Bible as Mark interprets in the Uganda Bible. Moreover, brethren, I do not want you to be unaware that all our fathers were under the cloud, all passed through the sea, and were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea. Kubanga, mm -hmm. kubanga saga mwe, obuta tegera, abolu ganda, bajajja fe, bonna webali, wansuwe chire, era bonna webaita munyanja, mm. era bonna webaba tizibwa, eri musa, muchire, ne munyanja. All ate the same spiritual food, and all drank of the same spiritual drink, for they drank of the spiritual rock that followed them. Erabona, Nebarianga, Emere, Emu, Eomoyo, Erabona, Nebanyanga, Echo Cunua, Chimu, Echo Echo Moyo. Kubanga Banyanga, Muruazi, Oromoyo, Oraba Goberanga, Oraz Oro. For they drank of the spiritual rock that fought them, and that rock was Christ. Kubanga Banyanga Muruazi, Oromoyo, Oraba Goberanga, Era Oraz Oro, Naro, Rari Christo. 
Mukamo of Fayes Yavas when you praise be to our God. Kakati uh, Paul Agaza Kulagaba Corinso. Now Paul's trying to show that God. Kiaburu Ganda Mulemukuta and Blanga Mulinganga, but at a gate day. That do not just walk as if you are ignorant. Mulemukuta and Blanga Mulinganga, but a money. Do not walk as if you are unaware. Tiba get the favor of Tamblanga of Munsing, not a brother of Munsi, Miss Yogana Munsen Suvise. When our ancestors were moving and sojourning from Egypt to the Promised Land, when they were with Musa, when they were with Moses, their baptism it happened in the Red Sea when they were going through the Red Sea they were baptized with Moses when they were baptized when they were moving the church when they moved from the water and they had one meal one foot tie which was a spiritual meal which came from heaven and that spiritual dream which came from the rock which used to accompany them and that rock was Christ. Now Paul is trying to show the children of Israel or the children of the church of the Corinthians showing them that that was representing the manna that came from heaven when they used to eat. They were eating Christ. He is the bread from heaven. Just because it was spiritual. They did not understand. It. And even the water that it came from the rock. What is so amazing. That when these people were in this, land, this rock used to accompany them. They used to build this rock here, And they would go down and they would And then they realized they have a and they would continue having kilometers. They would see the same rock It used to accompany them. And it used to supply them with water. And in that time, they never had any They were never hungry. But remember in this journey, nobody used to do farming that they used to harvest. They were in their wheels, but they used to have lunch, and they would have some. They used to take the water, and the water was pure. And the Lord provided for Regardless. them. Regardless, they used to disobey. Even when they disobeyed, they do not do anything. And I would say to them, you will not get the money because you really am going to make it. They used to make and he used to send manna still. Praise the Lord our God. So, what am I trying to share this day? The third this journey, it has got a lot of challenges. But this journey, our God himself, he is the God who moves us this journey. The power that we used to walk in this journey is not our power. It is what Paul tells to the Philippians that fix your eyes unto Jesus Christ because he's the author and finisher of your faith. He's the same faith that he was about. That he has kept it. Again, in time, no one can run on your own. You are not He has said, "I fought a good fight. I've kept the finish the race, and I've kept the faith." Can I tell you, Baba Nanti? Now he's telling these ones in Hebrews that fix your eyes on Christ. That. Because the other faith that I've kept, he is the author of it, and he's the finisher of it. It. it means even my faith in this journey, even that faith is not mine, but it is the Christ who started his faith in me, and it is Christ who accomplished it in me. Praise the Lord our God. Listen to me well. The Bible teaches in Psalms 37, verse 5, that your journey commit your journey unto the Lord. This journey it is not the journey that you walk yourself. It is the journey that you commit to the Lord. When it is the Lord who orders your footsteps. When it is the Lord who orders your footsteps. When His word is the light unto your feet. Praise the Lord. And that's what the Bible says. As you embark on this journey, your footsteps. It is the 
Lord has done. And his word is the light. All the lamp is your heart. So as we move this journey, it is not by power, it is not by might, it is by the Spirit of the Lord. And nobody can ever come and say it is because of that God. Your victory, it is keeping the faith that you went through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is keeping what you believe. It is keeping what you are. And to keep it unto yourself. Or to keep it as a steward. There are some people who listen to the word of the Lord. The Lord speaks to us all. But it is very key. To listen to the word of the Lord. And then you keep it. The Bible says in the Bible. Gabriel and Gabriel get there Maria. The Bible says that angel Gabriel when he starts talking to Mary. About the, the birth of our Lord Jesus. Maria ne ye kuma nge bigambe. That Mary took heed of those words. Na ye kuma nga. And he took heed of those words. What will be ye kuma? Are there words that you take? What will be ye kuma? Is there any word that you take? But what time blanga we kuma chowuri? Every time you move when you're healing. What time blanga we kuma chigude munda moto mabo? Every time when you move when you're healing. What time blanga we kuma chigambe chakatonda? Every time you move when you're healing unto the word of the Lord. Bible yesu masanza 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 bria chukumi kumi na muenda. The Bible teaches in Psalms 119. Tunayomu vubuka inzakutere zati kumbori. And how can a young man keep his way straight? That when he's keeping heed. So it means that the only way you can keep yourself safe in this journey, the only way you can overcome in this journey, is to take heed of the word of God. The Lord told Moses like this. I'm going to send for your name. Who's going to go before you in this journey? Listen to him. Do not disobey him. Do not make him feel good. Listen to him. He's going to lead you. Because why are you going to be? You've never been there. Let me tell you brothers and sisters. Where are you going to be? Because why are you going to be? There is a place you go through. And you will not regret it. Let me tell you brothers and sisters. Where are you going to be? Because why are you going to be? There is a place you go through. And you will not regret it. Let me tell you brothers and sisters. Where are you going to be? Because why are you going to be? There is a place you go through. And you will not regret it. Let me tell you brothers and sisters. Where are you going to be? Because why are you going to be? There is a place you go through. And you will not regret it. Let me tell you brothers and sisters. Where are you going to be? Because why are you going to be? There is a place you go through. And you will not regret it. Let me tell you brothers and sisters. Where are you going to be? Because why are you going to be? There is a place you go through. And you in Deuteronomy chapter number 8 from verse 2 and he told them to take of not forgetting but remember think about this how I made you walk and traverse 40 years when it was me making on how I Trying to teach you, not making mistakes and punishing you, but because I want you to know, a man shall not live upon bread alone. A man shall not live upon bread alone. It has also that you don't eat, but it says you eat. But not only bread is enough to sustain your life. I told you that in this journey. That food alone is not enough. A person has to move with this food journey. When you have the word of God, and that's how you live, and that's how you overcome. In this journey that we are in, this journey, it is very easy. It is very easy. So long as you put it out, so long as you put it out, and then you commit it unto the Lord as the Bible says. The Bible says it's not you who has to accomplish it, but it is the Lord who has to accomplish it. So long as you put it out, 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 so but, but commit all you unto the Lord. Praise the Lord. And that's how you receive it. That's how you receive it. That's how you receive it. We are going to overcome the enemy. The challenge is like coronavirus. The coronavirus. The coronavirus. The coronavirus. The coronavirus. The coronavirus. All those things are minor things to what happened to the children of Israel. Praise be to our God. The children of Israel as they travel to the world. There are some people who met them. This is what comes in my mind. It is like me and Mark and Clinton as we are back in the gym. We shall meet people who on the same boat. When they are also 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 when they are also
in the same direction, but when we are not going to the same destination, it is the general salvation. That there are some people when they are like as if they are going in the same direction, but the truth is where they are going is not where we are going. Come on, face you as we know. So this journey, you must be very careful as you walk and the people you meet along the way. And the people you meet of the same wordings or language. Come on, face you as we know. Praise the Lord. When you read the Bible, they are the children of Israel. The children of Egypt. What of the secret of slaughtering or slaying the lamb? And they did it as well. And they did not die. And they came with the children of Israel when they were with them. When they were Egyptians, but when they were part of the Israelites, and the Bible teaches, and the Bible teaches every time you read it that even the heaven that dwell within you, 